Today, I'm going to show you five simple and efficient methods to apply a formula to an entire column in Excel. Imagine you have a list of products with their sales numbers and you want to calculate the sales tax for each product. Let's assume the tax rate is 8%. We'll use this scenario to demonstrate how to apply a formula across an entire column. To start, enter the formula in the first cell where you want to calculate the sales tax. Suppose your sales data is in column B, starting from B2, and you're entering the formula in C2. The formula would be B2 times 8%. After entering the formula, press Enter, and you'll see the calculated tax for the first product. Once the formula is in place, click on the cell again to select it, and you'll notice a small green square at the bottom right corner of the cell. This is known as the fill handle. Hover your mouse over this fill handle until your cursor turns into a small black plus sign. When it does, double-click on the plus sign. Excel will automatically apply the formula to all the cells below, matching the data range in the adjacent column. The fill handle adjusts the cell references for each row, ensuring the formula is correctly applied across the column. If your dataset contains any blank rows, you might notice that the fill handle will stop copying the formula at the first empty row it encounters. This is because Excel uses the continuous data in adjacent columns to determine how far down to apply the formula. To overcome this limitation and ensure the formula fills through any gaps, you can manually drag the fill handle. Simply click on the fill handle in the first cell with the formula and drag it down to the last row where you want the formula applied. This method forces Excel to extend the formula across all selected cells, filling in the entire column regardless of any missing data. Manually dragging the fill handle ensures that every cell in your column contains the formula, even if there are breaks in the data. Another method to fill a formula across multiple cells is using the Control plus Enter shortcut. Begin by selecting all the cells in the column where you want the formula applied. You can do this by clicking and dragging from the first cell where the formula is to be applied down to the last cell. Once you've made your selection, don't click anywhere and just enter the formula B2 times 8%. As you type, it'll enter the first cell of the selection, C2. Instead of pressing Enter, press Control plus Enter. This command applies the formula to all selected cells simultaneously, automatically updating the cell references for each row. It's a quick and efficient way to apply formulas across non-contiguous ranges without dragging or copying. Another efficient technique is using the Control plus D shortcut, which copies the formula from the first cell to all cells below in the selection. First, type the formula B2 times 8% in the first cell, C2. Then, select the entire range of cells in the column where you want the formula copied, including C2. Once the range is selected, press Control plus D to fill down the formula. This shortcut duplicates the contents from the first cell in the selection to all the cells below it, adjusting cell references as needed. It's a fast method that requires minimal steps, making it perfect for quickly applying a formula. If you're using Excel 365, you can take advantage of dynamic array formulas to apply a formula across a column. In cell C2, type the formula B2, colon, B100, times 8%, assuming your data goes up to row 100. Press Enter, and if your version of Excel supports dynamic arrays, the formula will automatically spill over to fill the entire range, applying the calculation to each row. With dynamic arrays, you don't need to copy the formula manually. It automatically fills the entire range, adjusting the calculation for each row. However, be aware that if there's any pre-existing data in the range where the formula should spill, you'll encounter a spill error. To resolve this, ensure the entire range is clear of any content before applying the formula. Also note that with dynamic arrays, you cannot edit individual elements within the result of an array formula. If you need to clear the results, you'll have to delete the formula from the first cell where it was entered. Finally, let's look at the good old copy and paste method. Enter the formula B2 times 8% in C2 and press Enter. Right-click on the cell with the formula and select Copy or press Control plus C. Next, 
highlight all the cells in the column where you want the formula to be copied, starting from C2. Right-click the selection and choose Paste, or use the Ctrl plus V shortcut to paste the formula. Excel will automatically adjust the cell references for each row in the selection, applying the formula throughout the column. This method is straightforward and gives you full control over where the formula is applied, making it a reliable choice for any dataset size. There you have it. Five different methods to apply a formula to an entire column in Excel. Each method offers a unique approach, allowing you to choose the one that best suits your workflow and dataset size. Whether you're working with a small list or extensive data, these techniques will help you save time and increase efficiency. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to receive updates on our latest Excel tips. Thank you for watching and have a great day.